Yo, you know what it is. <laughs> X Brandon. I put the sauce on the toe. Hey, they know that I got the jokes. Hey, these niggas ain't made it. Brandon, how do you set up a chain of command in your business? As it grows, it changes. How has your role changed? Who asked that? None your business. That's his name? None your business. Well, <laughs> well, none ya. It's kind of like. I'm starting to do a setup like leadership roles. So we got Johnny Ty, he's the content manager, content emperor, and we all bow down to him when it comes to the, <laughs> the content, man. And he got it like it's good because he got his own channel, man. Uh, Get fly with Johnny Ty, all about fashion, sushi, and uh, do you talk about sushi on the channel? Sometimes. Sometimes. See, I didn't even know that, but I knew that. Like all the episodes I've seen, they weren't sushi based, but I noticed some sushi shit in them. Because I know you, baby. And that ain't even racist. I just seen you eat sushi before. Y'all thought it was racist. And he do know how to do all of that. I'm just saying. Yeah, how's that go again? That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's, I see him like he's chop, very chop. Good. Very good at yeah. the chop chop. <laughs> and he don't even like, man, he's eclectic. So anyway, to answer your question, he's in charge of the, the content ninjas. He like runs that ship. So that's what we are saying. And as we grow, and then we're going to get more salespeople. And that Xander is going to be like under them. So like now the base crew, like we're building people under, underneath them, you know, because it's going, it's getting too large for me to, to handle everything. How has success affected your level of happiness? If you had to start your entrepreneur journey all over from zero, what would you do differently? Do I seem happier than when you met me? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? You're a lot more calmer. I'm a lot calmer, man. Mm -hmm. what, what did I used to be like? Crazy. Like what? Like, okay, if you guys think that Brandon is intense now, he used to be really intense. But you calm down a little bit, but it's not really like to like a rich. Maybe I just level. got old. That could be it. You know, I'm like an so. old dog that you about to put down. Not there yet. <laughs> he but. done lost his mojo. <laughs> Listen, man, success don't make you happy. Bitches right make now. you happy. What's up? What'd you say? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I was just joking. Um, What'd you say? But what about the people around you? Have you like been able to like notice a difference? Yeah, like, man, no. they suck more. They start asking you for shit. I mean, that that, that doesn't happen anymore. Like, cause I cut them motherfuckers out. You know, mm -hmm. they start like asking you for shit. And, you like, start, yeah, definitely your circle gets smaller. Yeah, man, they start talking shit behind your back, but they way behind me because I'm so far in front, so they can't they can't help but be behind my back. Way happier now. Next question. What is one book of course that has had the most impact on your business? It's never one book, man. Like everybody's looking for the one thing or the one book or the fucking secret sauce or the magic key. But it's never one thing. It's like it's never one it's never one thing. It's like it's it's the the, the knowledge. The, the, the cumulative the cumulative the cumulative the cu a cum it adds up and it's never one thing man like if you take one course the effects will be like negligible mm -hmm. but all the knowledge together mixed with the experience right mm -hmm. and then you start to connect the dots and you start to see things and start to recognize the pattern but also read books knows that every single time you read a book you, you take what you need yeah, you know you don't comes. just take everything that's in one book you know or if you read a book mm -hmm. that you've read before right mm -hmm. you you understand it differently the book didn't change you change when was the last time you read Awakening the Giant Within? When I gave it to you, like years ago? Yes. If you read it again, mm -hmm. you'd understand it different. Like Yeah, different. no, I started reading yeah. it again. I just never finished it the second it's time. It's a thick ass was, book. Yeah, but it, I read it differently the second time yeah. when I started it. So it's never one book, man. Um, so to answer your question, no. Time for the lightning round. Hey, Brandon. What up? My girl cheated on me with my brother. What do I do? Please help. Mm. You cut the girl off. You know what? It's funny because I feel like this was just an internet sensation that just came out. What happened? The like uh, brothers fucking brothers, girls. Yes. And it happened to. Okay, we might as well drop names because this was like out of out of the light. So Logan Paul, he apparently slept with his little brother's girl. Damn! I don't be watching that shit. Yeah, no, it just I'm came out in in Shane. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, and he cut the girl off as one should, but he like, I guess that like he brought in his brother. Excuse me? Brought him in house? Yeah, as in like, they, like they, they brought they had, them they closer. Had a oh, they had, oh, they yeah. had a threesome? No, <laughs> they, 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 they became close. closer. Yep, yeah, became closer after that. Oh man, damn. Yo man, there's so many girls. Your brother thirsty. There's so many girls. There's girls everywhere. How many girls you see today? Countless. They're everywhere. Why you gotta fuck your girl? That's whack. Mm -hmm. Your brother was lame, man. So what should he do with his brother? He cut the girl off, obviously. What about his brother? They gotta go to Thanksgiving. Whatever, man, fuck it. Once I didn't talk to my brother for 10 years, because of something he did. You know, I got a sister I ain't talked to in, in, in 15 years, because she screamed on me once. You know, whatever, man. Siblings are overrated, I think. 
Just because you family don't mean you gotta fuck with them. <laughs> but you know that is very true mm-hmm. to a degree because even though you have, like, I have family members too, it's like, even though you guys are like blood, like, once like somebody turns your back on you, it's like, okay, it doesn't matter if you're family or not. How, yeah, how many people you got in your family? A lot, probably, yeah. right? Let's say you got 50 people in your family that are alive, right? If you get 50 people, random people together, man, the odds are some of them are gonna be assholes. So you don't wanna fuck with them. So you wanna find the assholes in your family and don't fuck with them, you know? I got a cousin, man, who got his ass whipped at a family reunion by one of my uncles, man. Throw grandma's VCR, man, cause he's a crackhead. He deserved that shit. He got his life together after he got shot a few times. Then he's like, you know what, man? I'm gonna stop this crack life. <laughs> hey, man, I'll cut off anybody for any reason. Get out of here! Next question! What is your take on passive income? It's never as passive as like you want it to be. Like you just set some shit up and you just get money just comes in. Like even motherfuckers I know got real estate, they still have to manage it. You know, people with stocks manage their portfolio. Like you gotta do something. I don't really have a lot of passive income right now. I have like, but I'm, I'm saving. I save 40% of my income that I will be investing into something. I'm waiting for the economic downturn. I'm waiting for the next recession. Everything's going on sale. Chim, chim. Oh, you can't pay for your house. Uh, you poor fuck. You shouldn't have been overspending when the economy was good. Now you like that ant. You like the grasshopper, man, who's playing all summer. Playing grab ass. Now it's winter and he died in the snow. That's not how it happened. But in my version of the story, which is reality, grasshopper dies in the snow. And the ants laugh at him. Ah, and fuck his bitch. <laughs> No. no, that's my take on passive income. Yo, Brandon. What up? Do you still find a lesson from 48 Laws of Power into your life? Yeah, or man. Have you moved past some of them? Nah, man. They, I mean, those are those are immutable laws, man. Especially law number four. Well, this has been another thrilling episode of X Brandon. Bella, what you gonna be for Halloween? That's coming up. Uh, Instagram model. All right, put leave in the comments. What should Bella be for Halloween? <laughs> A bumblebee? How about you be a bumblebee? Like a sexy bumblebee. It's gotta be a sexy something. That's what girls do. I are you gonna be, be a like sexy a big something? Rebellion bottle. No, seriously, what are you gonna be for Halloween? I don't really celebrate Halloween. Because it's the devil? Like, is it a demon? You know, I, you know, I feel like it's overrated. You know? Yeah, 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 dress up. But I, I like to, like, you know, make things go on sale for Halloween. Yeah, but we will have a Halloween sale <laughs> probably. Stay tuned. What should I be for Halloween? What you, what you, what you gonna be, K Rock? Hmm, you ain't thought about it. Johnny Ty, you probably already got your shit. Be a California roll. A California roll? <laughs> I'm gonna be a slutty fireman. Or like a slutty monkey. Like always got his tail out. A slutty raptor. A slutty velociraptor. I always want one of those costumes that like blow itself up. Or maybe it will be like a car, like a pizza or something. Or like a taco. Stay away. I don't like Halloween because I feel like that's when like all the mutants comes out and nobody can see them. Oh, like they in plain sight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The like mutants. The mutants and the aliens and the vampires. Like the real <laughs> the ones. The real ones. Yeah, and they, they like, all come out. That's a legitimate you, concern. Yeah, and you don't. So maybe I should be Blade. But like really blade, like you yeah. go out and like kill a vampire. Yeah. But then I might accidentally kill a regular. Hey man, <laughs> whatever. You shouldn't have been fucking out here false flagging, <laughs> pretending to be a bag of vampire if you ain't want to get bladed. Anyway, leave a comment. What should we be for Halloween? You let me know what you guys uh, think I should be and what Bella should be. Let's stop this shit. Oh, seven, nigga, no manners. Whoa, on my tongue, Montana. Tell him that I got a job. Tell them your boy got the flavor. Let them know, let them know. Y'all on the road getting paper. Oh, whoa, I'm the floor.